Welcome back to Everyday Cooking with Anne. It's the holiday season and we are going to make today three ginger gingerbread. What would that be? It's a cake, it's gonna be a bundt cake. And to prepare for this recipe, I've already uh, buttered and floured our bundt pan that we're gonna be using. Now, the three types of ginger that we're gonna be using is, this is regular whole ginger, and I have gone ahead and microplaned and grated it and put it in this bowl. This is called crystallized sugared ginger. You can buy it in little packages at a lot of uh, specialty stores or just places that have bins of different kinds of uh, dried fruit. And then of course, regular ginger from the, um, from the cupboard. And then some of the uh, other things that we're gonna throw in here, and I've got them all ready in our little bowl with three cups of flour. There's just different amounts of, of um, cloves, quite a, quite a bit of cloves actually. I think I have one and a half teaspoons of that, a couple of teaspoons of baking soda, a whole tablespoon of ground cinnamon, and then I have almost a cup of, of molasses that'll go in it. And then of course there's gonna be a teaspoon of, of salt as well. We're gonna add this last, but the first thing we're gonna do is put in the sugar, which is one and a half cups of sugar into our bowl. We're gonna be beating these things together first before we add the dry ingredients. Okay, that, then we're gonna add one half a cup of water. We are gonna add one entire cup of oil. This is what's gonna create a lot of moisture to the cake. It's going to be a very moist ginger cake. And then we have uh, almost, a, almost a whole cup of molasses. Now I'm using the Grandma Regular Light Molasses. Not the dark, believe it or not, this is not the dark molasses. This is the light molasses. Okay. And then I'm gonna add two eggs, and we're gonna beat this until the eggs are mixed very well incorporated in the mixture. I, I've just been beating this for about two minutes to make sure the eggs are incorporated with the water and the oil, making sure that it's all mixed very well together. And now I'm gonna take my flour and all my spices and mix it together. Basically sift the flour at the same time with my wire whisk. This is the best way to sift flour I have found. Oh, before I add that, I'm going to be adding the three kinds of ginger that I've already got prepared. So this is about a tablespoon of the fresh ginger and also the crystallized ginger. You want to get very, as small of pieces of crystallized ginger as you can. It was hard to chop because it was very, very sticky. So I just tore little teeny pieces together to reach them in half a cup. So those are all mixed in together. And now while that's mixing, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit at a time the, the, the flour mixture and all the spices. So it's just about ready to take out put in our pan. Boy, this really smells really good if you like ginger. It's a really very pungent smelling cake already. I'm going to mix in a little bit of the flour that didn't get into it on the sides here. Now in the recipe, it's in my cookbook. And um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let you know that this is part of another recipe. You can make the ginger cake ahead of time that I'm making now. And you can make this with a, um, a pumpkin uh, trifle type of thing where you mix the pumpkin mixture in with the gingerbread and to a trifle. It's really beautiful. Uh, this recipe has been requested by many people. So you might want to look at the entire recipe, but we're just making the cake today. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, add my mixture here into our very buttered and floured bundt cake pan. I'm going to be putting this in the oven at 350 degrees for one hour. The gingerbread has been cooking for an hour. I just took it out of the oven and I'm supposed to, I'm going to release it on a platter. You could put it on a rack or platter. 
Okay. And at this point, you want to poke a lot of holes in it because we're going to be making a syrup. And now I have a syrup here made out of a little bit of water, some lemon juice, and some sugar. I'm going to get that going right now because what you do is you pour, you poke a lot of holes in here, and this is going to seal the gingerbread with syrup. And it's going to keep it so it stays very fresh for a long time and very moist too. So we're going to make this little syrup here. Stir this up. This, I believe, is... An eighth a cup of water. I put three tablespoons with juice of half of a lemon, so I put about three tablespoons of um, lemon juice in here and a half a cup of sugar. <clears throat> and I'm going to boil this on medium here until it boils up. Now, if you ever make homemade syrup at home with other kinds of syrup, maple syrup, you want to have it uh, dissolve all the sugar before you turn it off, and then it will thicken up. Okay, this cake, I want to tell you a little bit about this cake. A really great friend of mine um, shared this recipe with me. And you can actually make a pumpkin trifle with this cake. It's really amazing. Um, you want to put it in, if you don't want to use it yet, you can put uh, cool it completely and put it in cellophane and put it in the freezer until you're ready to make your trifle. We're just showing the cake today because it is so delicious. I'm going to show you in a few minutes with it completely glazed and ready and show you what it looks like. I poked a lot of holes in the cake so that it, this syrup will seep in. So I boiled it, and this will hard, this will turn into a real syrup once it cools. I'm just going to go ahead and start sealing the cake with the syrup until it's completely all in the cake. Now, I've, inside and out, I've got holes on the cake. When you're finished, you can, of course, like a bundt cake, you can put powdered sugar on it. I can tell you the kitchen just smelled amazing while this was baking. It was so Christmassy, gingery, gingerbreadish. Here's our final a uh, three ginger gingerbread ginger cake. I'm going to take it. You could, there's a little bit of syrup down at the bottom here, but the syrup's all seeped in. It's pretty cold now. We're going to take it right out of. And put it on a plate. It's very, very moist. Let's try it. I'm going to put a little bit of my squirted whipped cream. It's the real deal. It's just not my homemade. And let's try it and see how it is. Mmm. That is really unique and gingery. I really like it.